In this video, we're going to take a look at the EcoFlow River 2 Max. Alright guys, so super excited about doing this video. What you're looking at right now is the EcoFlow River 2 Max. And this literally just came out today. EcoFlow was nice enough to send me out one of their models to test out before the release date. And let me tell you guys, this thing is amazing. Now I've had this EcoFlow for a while now. This is the EcoFlow River Max Plus. This thing is a beast. I mean, look at it guys. It looks like an Apple product. These guys really have great build quality on their products inside and out. I've had this for now over a year. Use this in many, many situations like power outages, camping, or even just using this in my backyard. I got a TV hooked up back there, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. I use this to power it at night when we're sitting out on the patio. But they've come out with their new version. This is the EcoFlow River 2 Max. We're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at this. So like I said, this is the EcoFlow River 2 Max. They just released it in October of 2022, along with a few other models. You guys are looking for a portable power station. You guys cannot go wrong with EcoFlow. They're a really good quality company. And nowadays with these crazy weather conditions, portable power stations have been a must have. Come in really handy when your power goes out. You can go ahead and plug in TVs, your Wi-Fi, refrigerators, all the necessities, your phone, just so you can stay up and running during your power outage. Now to charge this power station, there's multiple ways you can do it. Here's the supplied power cord that just plugs into a 120 volt outlet. As you guys can see, pretty long in there. They also provide you with a 12 volt plug to be able to plug in your power station to charge it from your car. And then later on, I'll show you guys, there's a solar panel option that you can add on to your power station if you choose to use solar power. All right guys, so let's take a closer look at this EcoFlow River 2 Max. This is a 512 watt capacity portable power station. Weighs approximately about 14 pounds. As you guys can see, not very big at all, easily portable. On the front here, we have some USB-A outputs. We got three of them. Right next to that, you got a USB-C, and this is going to be rated at 100 watts. So that's gonna be fast charging in there. Over on this side, you got some 12 volt DC plugs. If you guys got any 12 volt accessories that need power, you can use this side of the portable power station. Then on the bottom here, you're gonna have four AC inputs here. So obviously you can plug anything that you would normally plug into your AC outlet. These are 120 volts and they have a 10 amp max rating on them. Go ahead and turn it around here. As you guys can see, you got some venting here for airflow. On the back here, you're gonna have your input for your power plug to be able to charge this. Like I said earlier, it obviously it comes with the power plug. And then over here, this input is gonna be used for either your 12 volt or your solar panel is gonna plug in here. So obviously they got a proprietary plug here for their solar panel. So that's why it's wise to pick up their solar panel, be easier to hook up to one of these. On the other side here, we have another vent for cooling. On the bottom, you got four rubber pads there, so this doesn't slide off a table. Also on the back, as you guys can see, it's got the handle for easy carrying. The top there is just flat, so you probably could place your phone up there, something like that. At first when I seen that, I thought this might have provided wireless charging, but unfortunately it does not. We'll go ahead, hit this power button here. This is the main power button right in the middle. And then once you use this to power it on, then you can turn on either your DC or you can turn on your AC ports. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. One of the cool features of the EcoFlow is their display. I really like their display a lot. Right here it shows the hours, shows the percentage of what the portable power station is charged at. And then over here it's gonna show the input or output of wattage. 
And then as you guys can see right at the top there, it does have a Wi-Fi signal. So the cool thing with this is it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in and EcoFlow does have an app. So here's a quick look at the app on my phone. I've used it in the past for my River Max Plus. All I had to do was add the River 2 Max when I got it. And it shows you a little bit of information when you click into it. It's gonna show you the available time on the battery and what level that it's charged at. Right now it's 38%. It's gonna show you input, output, a couple other AC and solar power at the bottom there to show you how many watts you're getting when you're plugged into solar or how many watts you're getting when you're plugged into your AC. So nice little setup there to be able to monitor your EcoFlow power stations. Then of course, if you need any help, they got a chat button down there. You can chat with anybody from EcoFlow. Customer service is a really excellent. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug in this EcoFlow to charge it. And like I said, one of the things about this that makes it really, really awesome is the fact that this thing charges extremely fast. So right there, as you guys can see, it's starting to charge. Over here, it's gonna tell you how long it's gonna take to get this thing fully charged. So as you guys can see there, that doesn't say 36 hours. The recharge time on this is 35 minutes. So extremely fast. Right now, the input wattage is bouncing between 628 to 633, 634. So it's utilizing the wattage as efficiently as possible from the AC outlet. And like I said, these, this thing, when I plugged it in, what was it at, like 38%? So right now it's at 40%. The recharge time here, 34 minutes. Now I've had a lot of different power stations in the past, different brands, and one of the downfalls was how long it took to charge those. It seemed like it took literally like 10 hours, eight to 10 hours to charge them sometimes depending on how big they were. I really like EcoFlow for the fact that these charge extremely fast. So as you guys can see there, the fan kicked on. It's got a little fan icon at the bottom there. So the fan's kicking on to cool down the system as it's charging. And then this does have protection for overheating and stuff like this. So if it does overheat, it'll go ahead and go into protect mode. Another thing I want to mention when I was talking to EcoFlow about reviewing this River 2 Max, they did say that when they were designing this, one of the main things that they were focused on was lowering the price point of the River 2 Max compared to the older model. So they didn't let me know what the price is going to be. So I'm excited to see what that price is. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I got it hooked up to my TV and my back patio. And I've used this numerous times back here. I don't have an AC outlet on the back of my house. So these come in real handy for plugging my TV in that's on my patio. But as you guys can see there, right now it's outputting 39 watts. It's at 44% battery capacity and it's saying that it's gonna last about four hours at 39 watts of output, 40 to 39 watts of output. So not bad. If this was fully charged, it'd probably be eight to 10 hours of watch time on this TV at that wattage output. And this right here is a 32 inch TV. So just to give you guys an idea Another really nice addition that Eco has in their product line is their 110 watt foldable solar panel that works great with all their power banks. This folds up into four sections for portability and then packs away nicely in this case that's provided by EcoFlow. Real easy to use, it just plugs right into the back of your power bank and then you can angle it whichever way you need to to get the optimal sunlight and then once you got everything set up you'll be able to see right there it shows i'm getting about 85 anywhere between 80 to 85 watts of input from this solar panel right now it's going to take about three hours to fully charge right now it's at 39 percent so it's nice because you can finally tune your solar panels to get the most sunlight to increase that wattage input. This is up to 110 watts. 
So probably if I finally tune this a little bit more, get the, a better angle towards the sunlight, I'll be able to increase that wattage to charge up this EcoFlow power bank even faster. Here's a closer look at the solar panel and then the case. And when you're not using it, you can go ahead, just fold it up. You guys can see there, 110 watt solar panel, EcoFlow, really nice build quality here. And you can just go ahead, open up the case. And this case doubles as the stand to be able to angle the solar panel also. So it's nice how they incorporated this also as a stand. So it fits in there real nice. And you just zip it up. You got two handles on there. And then nice and portable. So if you guys go camping, hiking, real nice, lightweight, portable 110 watt solar panel for your EcoFlow power bank. All right, guys, so that's the EcoFlow River 2 Max. You can find this on their website. I'll go ahead and make sure that I post a link in the description box below. Like I said, these are really, really good portable power stations. Top of the line right here. If you guys are interested in one, definitely a good investment. Go ahead and check out their website. They got lots of different size portable power stations. They got smaller ones and they got large ones. Some that can actually power your whole house. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check that link at the bottom. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, smash that like button. I want to say thanks to EcoFlow for sending this product out. I'm going to go ahead and do some more testing. And then I'll probably post some future videos of this thing in action. And then I might also post a video of this EcoFlow versus my old EcoFlow. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you on the next one.